What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Third Person. This is a Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies, Mike and Jesse. How's it going? Oh, simultaneous. <laughs> I was, like, purposely going to delay it. Because... <laughs> and he did the same. <laughs> Guys, what's up? Welcome back. We're going to do, uh, this is our last uh, video for Lemony Snicket Season 1 yes. on Netflix. A uh, yes. series of unfortunate events. Um, kind of sad that we're going to not talk about it anymore, but... We have reached the end of season one, and what a season it was. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the season and enjoyed our little take on you know what went down. And uh, this time we're gonna we're gonna go to the last two episodes. All right. So the children arrive at the Lucky Smells Lumber Mill and unearth some unsettling accusations about their parents. Count Olaf courts an old flame. Meanwhile, Klaus just isn't himself after seeing Doctor Orwell, an optometrist oh, who is oddly oddly optimistic with her patients and meanwhile violet works you know to clear her parents names That's so, right. th- i i really like these episodes a lot mm-hmm. but now I, I know somewhat where this is going in the future so yeah. it, it's kind of like i'm hesitant i'm like do i want to say anything do i not want to say anything like about well, what's coming up. Yeah, ask. well, well, uh, well. Let's well, let's just before we get into any of that. I mean, we'll get into the actual episode here. These episodes. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, obviously, a lot of things. We found out a lot of things in these episodes. Yeah. One being that um, the parents who we thought were their parents are not their parents. Bastards. And now you know how I've been laughing every time you mention the parents. Yeah, um, I mean, uh, you know, you know. Again, we haven't read the book, and you know, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm glad that we haven't read the books. Mike, you know, I'm like glad that you and I don't know. Yeah, well, that's um, why, like I said, I was glad too that I didn't read everything, uh, watch yeah. everything ahead. Also, yeah, 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 because it would be really fucking confusing. Yeah. Um, but it's still confusing. So we have the the parents. It was. We, um, you know that they're not them. You know, we got to meet another character, uh, uh Catherine O'Hara, her character. Uh, what's her name? Ger- Jever Dean. What's her name? Guinevere. <laughs> Georgina. <Genevieve>? Georgina. <laughs> Georgina Orwell. <laughs> Right, we're, and you're going to get the Tangelo there soon. Yeah, and we also got you know uh, um, Olaf as another character, Shirley Shirley Saint Ives, Saint Ives, which was just ridiculous. That was the most yeah. ridiculous. Um, I will say though that some of the scenes later on are pretty funny. We'll get into those. Um, yeah. Neil Patrick Harris can pull off drag. Who knew? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's just. I mean. There was, there was, again, there was, there was still, there was, there was some funny stuff in here. There's a lot of funny things still. Um, a lot of weird stuff, too. A lot of weird stuff. Uh, again, like Jesse, like you said, it's getting more dire. You know, crazy mm-hmm. things happen in this episode. The guy's leg gets smashed. And again, Michael, <laughs> oh, yeah, like, it's, it's, it's playful. Cartoon. You know, it's, playful it's a live like action it. cartoon yeah. because. His leg was literally smashed, and they put it in a cast, and like yeah, and he was wiggling his foot still. Yeah, when he was like on, again, you know? so it's we, it's this it weird. It just extends his leg; it doesn't smush it really. Yeah, it's the just cast yeah, it's had so the, weird. The flattened spot, you know, you know? when we uh, see it again. We got some hypnotism, which you know, you a lot know, of hypnotism. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I had no, I, I had, I didn't connect that until that second episode where they were like. Does she's been hypnotizing them on their weekly, yeah. their free weekly, you know, optometry appointments, you know, their eye yeah. appointments. So honestly, I, I, being I've read the books, I forgot about that like TV, that little trope. That in there. Yeah, like, it's oh. crazy, right? So I was like, okay, why? You know, they're all with they get gum, like what? Gum and coupons. Like if one guy is like, Perfect. I got coupons for two for one for banjo. He goes, and yeah. I don't make no money, so I can <laughs> I'll never I be able to buy banjo. banjo. You know, it's, it's, I like how they have two coupons for half off for a doctor's appointment. Yeah, and they have no money, and they so have, uh, they combine two coupons half off a free doctor's appointment. Yeah. It was, it was, it was, it was pretty funny, man. I mean, I, 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 um, yeah, there was again, there was some really funny things in here. Uh, the window wasn't an actual window; it was a, it was a, the guy drew it in chalk with the moon. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't a real window, you know. Yeah. Um. Sunny, and, uh, like it just you know it was just uh I, I, go, ahead, go ahead mike what do you what, what do you think about it what was... yeah no i think that uh i definitely you know i think we have a lot of questions at, at the end of this now you know um i'm kind of glad because we spoke about this already in previous episodes about how you know will we be able to 
um, well, we get tired of of this repetitiveness almost. Like they, the kids, something happens to their whoever their caretakers are, and and this and that. We've been talking about this, and at least now it we see them bit, going yeah. to a boarding school, so I can see a lot of cool things possibly happening, especially in that last scene um, with the uh, children that are sitting opposite of the, the Baudelaire's. Yeah, the Quag- Quagmires, um, and they both have that this, the piece. They each have a. They each have. Is, they have one has the base and one has the Oculus part. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, they can. So I'm 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 excited to see that, as well as the picture that we saw in the trophy case behind, you know, at the at the school, in, in yeah. you know, of um of Snicket and, um, Olaf. So maybe we'll see like a backstory into some of this and how, you know. I'm just he's like smirking a little bit, so maybe. Well, you know, here's the thing: we found out. This is these are the things we found out. Like, again, first of all, those parents are not the are not the Baudelaire's yeah. parents. They're different. Yeah. Okay, they're they're these other. The three Miss kids and parents. Mrs. Quagmire, and right? The tricksters. Then we found out more about Lemony Snicket, who Beatrice was his girl, and mm-hmm. who di- who left a 200 page manuscript as to why she can't marry him, which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> we got to see more of him. You know, and a little bit more of his backstory. We got to see that picture of him and um, Olaf in that school, in the boarding school picture. Yeah. Um, somehow, uh, Sir, although, is Sir involved? Sir's not really involved. Sir and Charles were not really involved. I mean, they somewhat they, not really, kind of. They're, well, they they're didn't involved. They're Georgina on the outskirts Orwell. of it, yeah, right? They, they have Georgina Orwell in her relationship. So it, so for yeah, like she the, blackmails them and goes from there right so, so yeah. i mean we got we it, it's the story's now opened up to a point where it's like there are way more questions now but again and i gotta bring up like lost okay how lost was like you had all these questions and you they were like really annoying it isn't annoying so, i'm i'm very intrigued i'm very intrigued and i really want to yeah. get you know yeah. i want to get that so yeah. we got a lot of different things and i mean we're not going to answer mm-hmm. any of those you know and i decided jesse don't tell us anything Oh yeah, yeah I, I didn't mean, plan I don't on really want to. Yeah, I wouldn't really want to know much, but you know what? What's funny is I can now see because you know Olaf isn't going to quit going after these kids. Yeah. So I can see him showing up as like a teacher, or imagine if he. Well, he went there though. As, but see, he went there now. So yeah, but in disguise, obviously, no, as like a maybe one of the children. No, 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 teachers. You, no. The picture. Oh, no, no, no. I get what Mike's saying. He's saying like Olaf's going to come Olaf, there in disguise. And let, but why? What I'm saying is, if he's if that's his, like one of his alma maters, why couldn't he just go in? And be like, hey, it's me, Olaf. Remember me? Have you ever thought that maybe he's not welcome there? Well, that was my next thing. Uh, obviously, well, if he's not welcome I mean, there, then he has to they... go in as, yeah. Um, also, remember, it's a boarding school, and Mr. Poe is still in charge of the Baudelaire's. If he drops by to check in on the Baudelaire's and he sees Count Olaf, what's he going to well, do? Yeah. Um, people know that Count Olaf, you know, was a murderer. Yeah, yeah, because there was like the notes and everything. I mean, the notes, the newspaper and everything like that. So, yeah, like, I don't think he'll quit. I think he's like that main villain. No, uh, still, mm-hmm. yeah, no, I don't think he's gonna quit. I, I, I agree with you. Can we talk about? Be, for a second? I believe yeah. I can say this. He is a main villain. Yeah. A, a main villain. But I, wa- I want to talk about Poe for a second. Um, that fucking guy, like the scene so the scene where where he's he thinks he's gonna get fired and basically the guy's like i'm gonna fire you unless you figure it unless you he takes away the pin his pin and he yeah. faints and then his wife's like well i used oh, to be a, a um a journalist uh, yeah yeah an investigative I mean, journalist. Uh, investigative yeah, yeah. journalist and she doesn't do anything she heard that something happened and she goes and there she's, and she takes pictures she's like mm-hmm, yep they're like, like you didn't do us. anything she's yeah. like i got it i did it like you didn't yeah. fucking do anything you idiot but that whole scene where he's passing out and he's like, he's like, pick it up, don't it, hang it up, don't, what do you, what it, it was fucking hilarious. Like, he's yeah. one of my favorite characters, you know? Um, yeah, he's... I think, I think he was hilarious. I, th- I thought this, he was pretty good in this. Um, well, I mean, there's just, again, like all these, all these questions and like, I just, I keep going back to the parents, like, you sons of bitches, <laughs> like, how, how come you did that to us? Like, that's right. But it's cool, but it's cool because it's like this mystery. I'm so intrigued. I really want to know what's going to happen now. Like, I'm really looking forward to the next season. You know, I want to hear your guys' speculations on who set the fire in the Quagmire's house. Real so, who quick. set the fire in the? Okay, I mean, well, at first with me, I thought that it was probably Olaf because as soon as um, we see the fire begin, the next character that they show us is Olaf. 
And sometimes that, you know, when editing, they can use those kind of devices to well, kind of give you the idea of who Let me ask you this, though, Mikey. Let me ask you this. Olaf was already at the mill, though. That was all happening, like, at the end. Was he gone already by then? Well, he jumped okay. the fence. So and then the was it after the fence? Skewed, by the way. Because I'm thinking that could have happened because they were already at that boarding school, which means something, somehow they ended up, those kids ended up at the boarding school. And where's the third kid, by the way? They had well, three children. Was it three kids? Was two there boys three and a kids girl. on the other side? Two boys and a girl. Where's the other? Where's the other boy? Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. There was only two kids on the on the other side of the. Um... Yeah. All will be revealed later. Well, uh, obviously, but I mean, these are the things that we're you know we're speculating on. You know that. that... Well, what do you guys think? Well, let to finish Jesse's. Who who did that? I, I honestly yeah. I I don't know because you have Stinkit once again. This is the second time that he's leaving his place. Because it yeah. happened earlier, like in the first episode, on the first episode, maybe like the second or the third episode or, or something where he packs up and he leaves. This time he leaves because there was two men looking for him. So I, I, yeah. I don't I don't know somebody. So there's a there's a secret organization. Then there might be an anti secret organization type of thing, you know, like it might be there. Spy versus spy, like Jesse mentioned a while ago, yeah. you know, and I don't know. Be- I, I think it could be a rival or the government. Yeah, it could be like an or, evil organization right. or yeah, something. You yeah. Know. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, Maybe I don't we know. don't even know who the heck it is that started it. You know, I mean, before before uh, Doctor uh, Orwell died, I thought she could have even been behind a lot of yeah. a lot of this. But obviously, she couldn't have been the one to burn um, the uh, what? What the heck is the, the, house. the She was busy. She's busy. You know, yeah. um, manipulating. As I everyone, said, you know, the. Uh, the whole, you know, timeline thing is a little obscured. Yeah. So it uh, yeah, could have been I mean, Olaf. It could have been Orwell. It could have been anybody. Of course, I know, but or, or can speculate knowing because with the books, right? With the books, but uh, it was a fancy car, so it looked like someone with money. But it was a convertible. Yeah, it was like a right. Yeah. Um, would would you count out a evil organization or whatever it is you guys are speculating here? To uh, to not steal a car, right? No, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, look, he's stolen boats. Yeah, let's. And... Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and 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 I'm happy not knowing. I, I kind of want to know. Um, I wanted to bring up another thing. How they um very uh breaking the wall. They broke the fourth wall a lot. This this these two episodes. Oh, yeah. Talking about streaming, they mentioned streaming a bunch of times. Mm-hmm. Um, they mentioned the series, oh, and they well, mentioned so season. The they yeah, mentioned the season. The season. Yeah. That's the, that's the end of the season a story or, or whatever he uh, said. You know, at the end, yeah, Poe says. Yeah. Uh, so I just thought that was kind of cool. Like they really like they break it once an episode, and this time they did it like three times. Yeah, and it's gr- I just I just enjoy it. It's just enjoyable. You know, to to, to I don't know why it's just funny. The dialogue's great. Um, mm-hmm. anything, to compare it. Very House of Cards like. It's one of the main things you like about a show, and you don't know why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's well, a lot the of House things. Cards, no, but yeah. What about um? Just trying to think of these situations. A woman gets burned up. Like that's kind of crazy, you know. Um, there was some some funny funny things in with the kit with you know with uh, Sunny uh, doing the, the yeah. stripper, the bark stripper. You know, while they're doing that, she's doing that. Um, I'm I'm gonna go ahead. I, I wanted to ask you guys. Uh, how how would you rate these, Jesse? I know you said you love these a lot, but I'm gonna say these were not my favorite. So these two in particular, um, I would probably on a scale of one to five, I would give them probably like high threes. Okay. Like maybe in the three point eight area. What are your if favorites? What are your favorites? And I'm I'm grouping them by the parts one and twos. You know, I mean, uh, you can have favorite actual episodes, but for me, I think it's I, I'm 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 looking at them as yeah, like grouping I'm looking them at as group one, two. yeah, as yeah. one, yeah. Uh, the favorite ones, Mike. Uh, while I'm thinking of this one, what would you rate these? <laughs> well, I, I like I said, I think it poses a lot of questions at the end with these kids now at the boarding school, which I like. Um, I definitely liked the previous two with. Um, with, I, th- I think you can kind of judge it on oh, the characters know. that you like best that Olaf played, because in a way the episodes are very similar 
up until this point now and well, going similar further things now. but like we said they they do do a very good job of breaking up the monotony of this yeah. similar things happening yeah yeah uh, but i mean i did like uh what was that the white window right wide window, window. Yeah. yeah the wide window yeah which with the hurricane and everything like that though it was just a it was a cool thing um but i'm interested to see you know when the show will even come back you know it'll be a while because next year it'll be about a year hopefully yeah, yeah probably a while so we'll have a long time to have to wait speculate you know, more um I'm gonna yeah. tell you, I I think I, Wide Window is is uh, definitely my favorite. Um, yeah. I I enjoy, I love the setting, like you said, Mike. The characters, but also the humor was the best in those two episodes for me. Was the was the best. Yeah. I mean, I found myself laughing. Like if I'm gonna go back and watch any episodes right now, it, it's gonna be those because those yeah. were just they were just so funny. Like they, they, they I don't know what it was for me, but mm. I don't know. So I the Wide Window definitely is my yeah. favorite portion. So All right. Wait, you guys both uh, We both pick wide windows. Yeah, yeah, both, right. yeah. And what would you rate this episode? I would oh, uh these two episodes probably. Yeah, like maybe like 3. Um maybe like 4 because they <laughs> because you get a lot of info. And by so info, there's I mean, a lot of info, yeah. I mean, you yeah. don't learn anything, but you learn stuff. You learn that the there's question, stuff that you don't yeah. know, and yeah. yeah. So I would yeah, rate I'm it. I'm probably going to redact mine, say a four, too, because yeah. I, I didn't think about the ending there. I was thinking more of the beginning of it. You know? I mean, and look, there, there, there's a lot of stuff on there, and, and, and we could keep going on and on and on. That's why I'm kind of just kind of steer us to a broader topic of, of what we thought of the oh, series. Oh, and by the way, Reptile Room. Just okay, to... that's your favorite. Okay, yeah. Stefano. Uh, Stefano, you like Stefano? Yeah, Stefano. Stefano yeah, I, I think I like Captain Shan better. Than Stefano. What you going to do? I like so Captain Shan better. But, yeah, um, I think a lot of that, a, a lot of these uh, these episodes, if you want to, if you want to grade and vote on which one, it really does go along with who Olaf was playing. Well, yeah, yeah. It, it really, does. because they weren't that much different. Like I said in the beginning, and you know. Every episode was really these children going to a new family or a new home, and 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 how is Olaf now gonna? Who's he gonna betray? How is he gonna, you know, try to get these kids involved? And and and, and you know what I mean? So it's it's, I, I do like the sham character because yeah. no, I think the Got the one track. part that I laughed the most was when his peg leg broke, and he's like, my foot is it, it's a mirror. <laughs> it just you know? comes I just down. Thought yeah. it was, I just thought that was really. That's what funny. I'm saying, there was some really funny yeah. stuff. What about these? <laughs> so this these two episodes, guys. Uh, what were your favorite scenes? Oh, that's, I'll tell uh... I'll tell you. One of my favorite <laughs> scenes was when she says, you know, uh, he's like, oh, now you, uh, sir, is talking to Orwell and St. Ives, and he's like, so you have a deal for me? And she's like, no, more like a story. And then he gets up, and he goes to this rendition of how she's a lonely secretary, and just everything yeah. that he did, the mannerisms, the way he, like, kicked his leg up, and then he's, he's like, like, flirting I with... I just, yeah. I thought it was yeah. hilarious. Like, I was I was dying. I thought that was, I thought that yeah. was probably the funniest uh, part of the, of the whole thing. Um, you know, like I said, these weren't my favorite. The settings were weird. We, you know, we got a lot of information, though. Yeah. But yeah, I, I thought that was my favorite part. Above. I'm gonna say that whole end bit there with uh, controlling Klaus while uh, Charles is on the <laughs> on the saw. Okay, yeah. Or or maybe up. even when you know he's having Charles bike the little rickshaw around. That was pretty funny too. Yeah, when yeah. they get on there. Yeah. Mikey, what do yeah. you got? No, I mean I think a big part, probably not necessarily my favorite part, but I think most one of the most interesting parts was obviously when we find out that the, you know the the parents aren't the children's parents. But they were you going don't know to that much wind- I want to scream that out. Did you guys? Yeah. Scream? Well. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you thank you that you let us that you let us do it. Um, yeah. I, I honestly I think I'm gonna go and read them all between now and the next season. Is that bad? Is that dumb? Should I wait? If plenty, if plenty of time. For you if to you want to keep wanna the suspense know, real, I want to know. I would though. The problem is, I don't. I gotta think... say, I loved your reaction when you saw this episode, and you're like, I "They're not the real parents." I know. I said, I sent it in, in chat. I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. I was like, "Oh, you know, maybe I won't watched. then. Maybe I won't. Maybe because if I do, I know what's gonna happen. It's, then, it, then I'm gonna be in a situation where it's like, and, and, and we're to gonna be honest, have two me's in this situation where yeah, we're both it, giggling at Mike." 
Yeah, and you know, and I'm just, I'm just really enjoying the series. I really am. I'm really, you know what? I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna read it. I'm, I'm not gonna do it because I, I'm really enjoying it. And it's one of those few. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's just fun. It's quirky. It's fun. I really. You enjoy it for a on. different reason when you've read them, but yeah. That's the thing, and I've done that plenty well, of times. Like, like, like The Walking said. Dead. We know what happens with The Walking Dead, so I'm never yeah. surprised. Yeah. I know it's coming, you know, and. Well, I've, and it's kind of ruins it a little bit, like in the books too. Yeah. Like for for I'm sorry for Game of Thrones, I should say the books, the mm-hmm. Game of Thrones books. Like I know what happens more or less. You know, well I did. We're now. in uncharted waters now. Yeah, well, now, now we're, now we're yeah, off book, exactly. but you know, I don't know. But anyway, well the one thing I was I was I was I was thinking too with Jesse though. Jesse said it himself that there's things that he sees that he didn't necessarily remember. So the show is sparking. Back some of those but it's a memories. difference though, because me are... and you are like going, "Oh shit!" Oh, and then mo- and then yeah. more things are like, oh, "What could that mean?" And Jesse's like, "Oh, I remember what that means." I remember what that yeah. is. Yeah, but actually, hey. I don't remember all of it. Well, I right. Some, but... Like this time, I didn't remember. You know, that Georgina Orwell was a hypnotist, and yeah, I'm surprised I remember the first three books that well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, um... then again, all right. So, if you used to read the books, books four through I think it's six. So the next three books, like, they didn't engage me as much for some reason, and I don't know why. I, actually, no, I think four or five engaged me. Six didn't. That's what it was. Yeah. And that's why. Uh, they well, how many? How, what did you say? Fourteen. Thirteen total? books. Thirteen. So if we assume that this these last eight episodes were four books, right? You said. Yep. So I mean, the show can only go another season, two seasons anyway. Another, like two and seasons, I, maybe. Yeah. yeah, probably two seasons, three books each. And that's fine. Something, last thing we have to go along together. those lines. That's fine. Yeah. Well, we don't need it to go for, for you know for like forever. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's good. It's because there's too. We have well, too much content written, anyway. We already yeah. we have too. I still have to start House of Cards. You know, like I haven't watched Homeland. I haven't even finished Twenty Four. You know, there's all these other shows that are on, and the, the shows that we're not even talking about. You know, then the shows that we want to get into and talk about on our show. And it's like, there's yeah. too much. <laughs> it's too damn much. There but are. there's a lot of good shows out there. I think, guys, I think we're gonna end that there on this discussion yeah. on Lemony Snicket's a uh, series of unfortunate events on Netflix. This was season one. I think it's evident that we all really enjoyed this season. Mikey, I'm really glad that you came around and you were like. And, you know, it really oh. took your interest. Uh, I hate it. It's weird. Compared to the first one. <laughs> you, know? you know, because, yeah, it's just because we we see, you know, especially by the end, that it's more playful in the way. Yeah. You know, people yeah. are getting murdered and things like that, but it's like, there's like a humor to it. You know what I mean? It's a little bit it's dark not, humor, yeah. It's it, a little it dark is humor, yeah. dark in a way, like, especially, like with Orwell yeah. and Get going fully into the furnace and, yeah. and and Josephine getting pushed into the into the lake. Josephine getting pushed into the you lake. Know, like that's but, some serious shit. And but... getting bit by a snake. Yeah, but we didn't see that though. We saw his oh, dead yeah. body. Saw his but, body. I mean, but yeah, so uh, I, I again, I I think we're all looking. We're definitely looking snake? forward to that to yeah. the next season. So guys, please let us know what you thought of what's going on. If you want to share your thoughts, if you want to share things, you know, uh, spoil do whatever you want. It's fine. Just let's continue the conversation down there. <laughs> Before we jump off, I just want to uh, really quickly remind you that down below we have our uh, promo code for Comic Blitz. You go to comicblitz.com, get yourself some comics or a comic subscription service and uh, a special promotion for you guys for being fans of us. You get to go there and you get your first three months for $3. For It's a dollar a month for the first three months. So for three bucks, you get yourself unlimited comics on whatever they got in there and they, they've got they've got almost 5,000 comics they're adding more every day from some of your favorite publishers some of your favorite comics so get in there get some comics again the code is third person pod um, three bucks for the first three months dollar a month there you go um, anything else guys that's it I think we're good I think, I think good. that's it that's Stefano says you will not see the last of him <laughs> <laughs> I'm Captain Sam Sam says <laughs> Uh, thank guys, thank you so much. We will see you on the next videos. Walking Dead's coming up, so uh, yes, don't forget to check out that. all the the next se- the second half of the season for that. And uh, we love and you guys. If you haven't, check out our what ifs. That's right. Go check out some what ifs because we're getting we have more and more and more and more and more. I don't know. Sorry, guys. Anyway, all right. Okay, we'll there, you. Olaf. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>